Hey guys, what's up? Um, okay, so, <laughs> this video is going to be me excited about the fact that I've got my camera back, but not excited about the fact that I had recorded two videos prior to this, and I don't know if this one's going to go through at all, but they didn't record right. And all you can hear is muffled weird sounds, and you can't see my face for some reason, and I don't even know. So, third time's the charm, right? What I wanted to talk about in this video is I wanted to talk about the fact that this is something that I've been noticing a lot lately. And I'm going to be real quick on it because I don't want to ramble about it, but I really think it's important. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me that well. I've got my window open because it's so hot in my room, and I just, I can't. Basically what I wanted to talk about today is that I want to talk about the fact that we need to start remembering that people are people. And what I mean by that is that humans are what we are. We are all human. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or if you're like the president of the United States, which we're about to have Trump. I don't know. I think he's an alien. Whatever. Everybody is human. We're all human. We're all, we're, all, we're just, we're all human. And at one point, if you believe in the whole um, evolution chain, we used to be animals. But that's besides the point. We are all people. And it doesn't matter what your status in life is. It doesn't matter if you're like the richest person in the world or the poorest person in the world. You are still a human being. And with that said, we all feel things. We all have emotions. We all develop with them. And we also all um, grow from it, you know. We all can become better or worse from it. Uh, we all also go through change, too. And the, th the reason I'm bringing this up is because I always see people talking about how they're all mad that their favorite YouTuber or their favorite celebrity has changed. And the thing that makes me mad about that is that people need to remember that just because they're changing doesn't mean anything. You gotta also remember the fact that you are changing. We as people change every day. We learn something, okay, whether we want to or not. Every day I'm learning something, and I may not even realize I want to know that about myself or about the world, but I know it, and that's all there is to it. And with every single day, we become somebody new. And whether that new person is a good person or not, begs to be judged and begs to be differed. Or however that saying goes. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. But basically what I'm getting at is... I don't really agree with that whole saying of people going up to somebody and saying, you've changed. Yeah, I may have changed, but so have you. We all change. We all grow. And that's why I feel so bad for people that shit on a celebrity that's gone through so much to be what they are now. Or a YouTuber that went through a rough time. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a YouTuber as an example. I'm going to use... Why don't I use a YouTuber as an example? Let me use PewDiePie. He's like the biggest YouTuber right now. He's got, I think he's got like almost 50 million subscribers right now. I think, I actually think he's at 50 million subscribers. He's been doing YouTube since like 2010 and I've been watching him since then. I've seen him grow up. I mean, he's basically grown up. And the other thing that I've seen is that I too have changed since then. Because when I first started watching PewDiePie, I was an emotional dumbass mess but when I moved on in life as I started to get older he was changing while I was changing and just because his content was changing that didn't mean I didn't like it any less I actually was happy to see him change and the same can be said for like well like a lot of people say that about Markiplier too they're like oh, oh Markiplier was better do you know how much shit that man's been through He's been through a lot of stuff, and I gotta give him props, like, props to you, Mark, because you go through so much crap, dude, I feel like you have, like, a bad juju aroma around you. Aroma, is that the word? Aura? Aura. Aura, I think that's what I meant. But anyway, you've got, like, a bad juju aura going about you sometimes, dude, and bad shit just seems to happen to you, and it's not cool, dude. But you're also, like, one of the nicest YouTubers, I think, out there, and... You've grown, dude. And that's what people need to remember is that he can grow. He's allowed to. He's not a kid. He's he's a young man. He's older than me, actually. But he's a young man who's growing in a world where everybody knows his face and name. Same can be said for PewDiePie. And if you want to go with celebrity-wise, 
you know, just look at all those Disney, Disney kids that grew up to be whatever they are now. Miley Cyrus, good example, was known through because of her dad, got her own TV show. That show was on forever. A lot of people really loved the Hannah Montana show. They also made fun of it. Whatever. You either liked it or you didn't. And then all of a sudden she grows on. And then she's making these choices that I personally may not agree with. But at the same time, I'm changing my view of how I look at things. So I, I can look at her views and think, I don't agree with that. But that's your choice. And just because somebody has a weird view of something or does something bad doesn't make them a bad person. That's the other thing is that people are like, oh, well, they've changed so much. Now they're just a douche and now they're just evil. That's not true. You can't look at somebody and automatically be like, nope, I've decided that you're a complete douche. Because if you look at somebody just for their cover and just for the few things that they've done, you won't know them as a whole. And... That's why I try my best, my best, to not judge people when I first meet them. Because I don't know their life. They don't know my life. I don't know theirs. And unless I get to know them as a person, or as, you know, a friend, or whatever I want to call them, I'm never going to. And even the people in your life that you consider your best friends, you still don't know them. You think you know them, but you don't. Because, let's be honest, you don't tell your friends everything. You know you don't. I don't tell my friends everything, what few friends I have, and you don't tell your friends everything. Just like you don't tell your parents everything, or you don't tell your co-workers everything, or, or, you know, you just don't tell the people around you everything. Because there are things in your life that you just gotta keep to yourself. And we don't know what's going on in these people's lives. We only know what we see. And just because they're showing us stuff doesn't mean they're showing us the whole picture. That's why that whole saying of, a picture is worth a thousand words, because what I'm seeing doesn't mean it's what's happening. And people got to remember that. We've got to remember that, okay? We've got to try to be better people. You can't, you can't just hate on somebody just because their life isn't going the way you want them to do it. And that's, that's ridiculous. That's like, that's just wrong. You can't make everyone be the way you want them to be. And I guess the, basically the main thing I'm wanting to get out of this whole thing, and I know this is a rambling mess, and I know I'm jumping around a bit, but the main focus of what I'm wanting to get at is just remember that your life doesn't have the same thing going on in, in someone else's life. You may be going through a rough time, it doesn't mean someone else's. You may be going through a good time, they may be going through a rough time. You don't know everyone's life, so don't act like you do. And also try to remember that we are all human and that it's okay to grow up and change. It's okay to be different. It's okay to look at somebody and say, you've changed, but you need to remember, so have you. So have I. And I hope in life that people will start to understand that a little more. I really hope that people will always understand that we change along with the people that we look up to. And just because they're your hero doesn't mean they have to stay the way that you want them to. Okay? Now, you all don't have to listen to me. Nobody watches these videos anyway. This is just my inventing thing. But to anybody that comes across this, if you agree with it, let me know in a comment. Talk to me. Heck, I've even, I'm even setting up a Tumblr page right now. And, ooh, there's a topic I'll get on to next. It's Tumblr. That'll be a fun topic to discuss with you because I'm sure you all have lovely opinions on it. But, anyway, um, before I keep rambling on, because I know I will, um, just keep that in mind... Give, give this a thumbs up if you agree, or even put a thumbs down if you don't. And if you don't agree with it, tell me why. Just talk to me, okay? I actually like talking to people. I like comments. I like knowing what you think. I like to know if people think differently than me. And I'm not, I'm not above hearing everyone's opinion of stuff. Because you don't know what you don't know until you hear it from someone else, right? Okay? Alright, that's all I gotta say. Uh, take care, guys. Bye!